Time for another edition of Shelton City Council looking ahead with City Manager Jeff Knighton. And Jeff, a little bit of a busy meeting on Tuesday night. Um, got the park board at 545, then the council gets into it at 6. Mm -hmm. Several things to talk about, and I think uh, let's talk about transportation first off. Yeah, so what the uh, the agenda item is, uh, the six-year, uh, what we call it in internally here, the six-year TIP. But what it uh, stands for is the Transportation Improvement Program. So what that lays out, and it's a, it's a planning document that tells us uh, what areas need to be improved uh, as far as transportation is concerned. And that concerns mostly streets, but it also concerns sidewalks and, you know, all, uh, all forms of transportation, whether it's uh, in a car, walking, uh, those types of things. Um, and it tells us what projects are coming up, uh, what the priorities are for those projects, and uh, how they will be funded, how we're going to pay for those improvements. Uh, it is uh, something we take a look at every year just to make sure we're staying on top of it, but we plan out for that six-year period. So we, um, you know, we're being proactive and not reactive. That's really what it's about. And correct me if I'm wrong, it has to be on this list to get funding from certain sources? Yeah, so it has to be on uh, the, the six-year tip in order to apply for grants, uh, for instance. Um, we have to be able to show that we have uh, given thoughtful consideration to each of these projects moving forward and a justification of why um, the paving, for instance, on uh, wallace Neyland Boulevard is... Uh, a higher priority than something else uh, when we go out for grant dollars. And that's incredibly useful for those granting organizations to uh, make a determination on whether they'll fund our project or not. The next uh, item on the business agenda is another annexation. So can yes. you run those down? Is this going yeah. to be as controversial as Peacock Ridge or not? I don't. Well, I don't think so, but I, you know, we're interested to hear from any uh, any people that are interested or concerned or, uh, you know, have some ideas about how this might move forward. What this one is, is just a single parcel, uh, and it is north of what, uh, what I've heard referred to as the Spice Streets, which is the newer development uh, across the street from the high school. Okay. Uh, so it's immediately north of that. Um, a single parcel, single owner, and uh, the idea is to eventually put uh, homes in there. Um, uh, you know, build some uh, build some additional homes in there, and that's something we're pretty excited about. It's directly contiguous to the city, uh, the city limit currently, um, and this one will move forward. It'll move forward with the same process as the Peacock Ridge annexation that the council just finished uh, last Tuesday. Um, and we'll uh, we'll see what people have to say. That's what these meetings are about. Is so uh, people can come and share their thoughts and concerns about uh, the direction the city is moving. But it's important to note that this is in our urban growth boundary, which under the Growth Management Act, we can we are only eligible to annex properties that are within the urban growth boundary. And it's in fact uh, expected that the city will annex properties within the urban growth boundary uh, over a 20 year period. Um, that's what it's for, is for that planned growth. So again, we're being proactive rather than reactive uh, and helping the community uh, grow in a responsible way. You wanted to talk about the Department of Ecology Nutrient Reduction Grant a little bit. Yeah. What, what's that? Yeah, so uh, this actually last year, I believe the uh, state legislature appropriated about $9 million for communities around the state to work on uh, reduction of uh, um, uh, nutrients in the, in the uh, effluent in the wastewater treatment plants because there is expected to be increased requirements for uh, treatment capabilities uh, from the Department of Ecology. Those requirements continue to go up. Uh, to ensure the health of Oakland Bay, Hammersley, Inslet, and the entire Puget Sound. Um, so trying to get ahead of that, uh, those requirements, and make sure that we're meeting them when they're in place is an important component of this grant. And I believe it's a grant acceptance, so it's not anything that we're spending money on at the moment, but I believe the grant total is 158000 and that is a way for us to uh, uh, meet those requirements before they go into effect. I think, uh, again, it's an uh, example of government being um, pro 
proactive rather than reactive. Now, the last action agenda item, and if people have been under a rock or not paying attention, Jeff's leaving us in a couple of weeks, let's just say that. Uh, and you have a presentation to the city council on the transition from you to whoever's next. So yeah, uh, I mean, and, there's not a lot decided, So, but you can give us something. Yeah, it's uh, the council will make a decision on Tuesday night. I have uh, provided them with my recommendations, but again, you know, these are my recommendations and council uh, will make a decision on Tuesday. Uh, it's important to have somebody either in an acting capacity or an interim capacity while the city goes through a recruitment process uh, for the next permanent uh, city manager. Uh, but yes, I will be leaving. My last day in the office here will be uh, March 31st, the last day of March. Um, and I've enjoyed it. I've had a good time. Uh, uh, I think we've made a lot of improvements and uh, it's the old Athenian uh, proverb, basically, right? It's uh, leave the city better than when you found it. I, uh, I think that we have done that and I'm very proud of the team here and I'm sure they'll be in good hands. There's a a uh, group of dedicated professionals working here for the city that I would put up against any other group in the country. They're great people to work with, and I've enjoyed it. You've been a good addition to the city, and I hate to see you go, but there's always more challenges for you come ahead, and that's as people develop, we like to see that as well. Um, so, Tuesday night, 545 for the Shelton Metropolitan Park District, then the city council at 6. You can come to the meeting, and then the council chambers or the courtroom at the Civic Center. You can log on to Zoom or you can check it out on the city's YouTube channel.